The introduction to Alaska of the snow machine made mushers and their teams a dying breed. So in the depth of winter's freeze in 73, a race froze the importance of the sled dog in Alaska's history. Miners, mushers, serum, and mail all make famous the Iditarod Trail. Winding over the winter of Alaska's west coast, this trail has been host to the most extreme mushers and their teams, making Alaska the mushing mecca of the earth, giving birth to the last great race, a race finished with frozen face. Racing day into night, mushing beneath the northern lights, trying to outrun their own frostbite, the lamp on their head illuminating not just their way but why. A musher and these dogs have been bred, one to be led, the other this trail to tread. This old trade route was made for going all out, be it the icy winds of a coastal storm or the silent cold of the ice fog. Mushers are surrounded by only dark forms of trees, mountains, and their lead dogs. If the sled had wheels, they'd be rolling. Instead, they're just kicking and pulling. They're runners slicing the ice, compacting the snow, trying to avoid the overflow. Not wheels, but their words steer. These dog sleds over the last frontier. Backed by the Iditarod Air Force, these mushers are ready to conquer their course. From the ceremonial start in Anchorage to Yentna Station, the Iditarod race is shaking the nation. Into Rainy Pass and on to McGrath, sleds and their teams are mushing fast. There's a dog in the basket, foot on the drag, sliding into cow tag. First one to Ruby's, in for a feast. Then it's a race to Unalakleet, conquering the cold for that sack of gold, a treasure earned, not bought or sold. Daylight they burn, watching every turn. Who wants the red lantern? The race becomes a test. Who scores the best? On to White Mountain for an eight-hour rest, slipping and sliding, wild and free. The trail and their team is all they see. The chill of the trail becomes home until that safety checkpoint. Then it's a heated race to Nome. Eleven hundred miles on a dog sled, the trail can get to your head, placing a musher in a trance. You can't just win this race by chance. Just ask Lance or Playmaker Baker, a true trail breaker. No matter the weather, they see the people huddled together, holding their signs at the finish line like in 25 when the serum arrived, standing behind their freezing breath, waiting for just a glimpse of Hugh Neff, filling the frozen finish with their cheers. Cold-covered mittens melt while wiping away more warm tears from their ice-laced faces, no matter what their place is. It is the completion of the race above all races, the Iditarod, a true American dream and proof. A snow machine could never replace a dog team.